Well, this is quite an evening, and uh, I'm proud to be here. And I want to speak about something I've been talking about since I was first elected almost 50 years ago. As a matter of fact, on June 18th, I'm going to be back in Montreal for the 50th anniversary of my first election, the Member of Parliament of St. Lawrence, St. George, and some of my old organizers are going to be there. And I've watched the parliamentary situation since I was elected. And the current situation is a very difficult one to describe. There's too much control, I'm afraid, out of the Prime Minister's office. Too much party discipline. You can't get on question period without the party whip allowing you. You've got bills introduced as an omnibus bill under the budget. The budget used to be related to taxation. The current omnibus bill has got about 150 items in it. It means that members of parliament can't deal with it. There's closure. The standing committees that used to be a real element of democracy in the House of Commons no longer have any jurisdiction whatsoever. I suppose it all began with television in the sense that the leaders had the opportunity to appeal over parliament directly to the to the people through television. And of course, by reason of television, question period became the most important part of the parliamentary scene. Question period is featured for half an hour to an hour every day. Nobody watches the debates. Nobody reads the debates. So on this 50th anniversary coming up, I recall a speech I made to the Kiwanis Club in Montreal a year after I'd been elected. I said, we've got to bring Parliament back to Magna Carta 1215 in Westminster in England, where the English restored democracy, took it away from nobility, gave the individual member of Parliament total authority over his writing and in those days, only his writing, but her writing. And only after the election, where members were elected writing by writing, with no outside authority, no outside influence, no outside appointments, when they came to Westminster in London, only then did they choose the prime minister. I said at that speech in 1963 on Sherbrooke Street in Montreal, in my writing that I believed in free votes in the House of Commons, except for the throne speech, which was government policy, and a budget. Not an omnibus bill, which we have now here in the, in the country, but a straight budget relating to taxation. Otherwise, every piece of legislation ought to be subject to the judgment of the member of parliament and the feeling of his or her writing. That, that's the way Parliament ought to operate. And uh, I uh, remember that the word Parliament came from the Norman word parlay, to speak. Freedom of speech, that's what Parliament used to be. Fraser, the late Fraser, uh, Fraser Mustard was a great Democrat. I uh, was on his commission for about 20 years across the country. And we wanted to find out why young people were not becoming involved in public life in this country. First, financial sacrifice. Second, the pressure of a marriage. Third, and just recently, the penetration by the media into private lives. And finally, that the job of a member of parliament wasn't worth it. That's what we found. So what I'm saying to you tonight in the company of my colleagues who shared the office I shared for a short time, we Canadians are taking our lives for granted. What we have in this country didn't happen by accident. Democracy doesn't happen by accident. Let's fight for the restoration of the supremacy of parliament in our democratic life. Thank you very much.